Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Joe Stone Unboxing. This is just a quick one because I read today in uh, Boxing News, uh, today being um, August 27th, Thursday, uh, 2024. Um, if you're like me, you forget what year it is, never mind what day it is. Anyway, I read, did read in Boxing News today that um, Luis Alberto Lopez um, suffered a brain bleed following that uh, possible, you know, KO of the year highlight reel thing uh, that he suffered against Angelo Leo uh, last weekend. Now, if you haven't seen the fight, um, it was a, like I say, a really shocking knockout. It was a left hook from nowhere, caught uh, Luis Alberto Lopez, slap, bang on the jaw, down he goes. Uh, did try and get up, but couldn't beat the count. I mean, he was just out. Took him a long while to recover sitting on the stool. I think he was given oxygen and then he went straight to hospital. But there was a brain bleed, a slight, very small brain bleed. Didn't require surgery. But, you know, at the risk of sounding ridiculous through stating the obvious, if your brain's bleeding, you know, it's a bit like being a little bit pregnant. You know, it's, it's not a good thing. It's So... Um, for some reason, this this I hadn't heard of this before. I, I I don't know why. Maybe maybe most of the well, clearly the the news channels I go to didn't report it. But this must surely be the end of his career. You would think, wouldn't you? Um, I mean, this this guy has, has been an absolute road warrior, uh, very tough man. That was the first stoppage of his stoppage defeat of his career. He'd lost twice previously. But on the road, he'd won the IBF title against Josh Warrington. He'd knocked out Michael Conlon in Belfast. I mean, he was going all over the world um, and thought absolutely nothing of going in with Angelo Leo uh, in his own hometown. And unfortunately, it didn't work out for him in a fight that was give and take. And it was a great win for Leo, but I can't see how he'll, he'll be allowed to, to fight on with a brain bleed. I mean, talk about dodging a bullet. You know, um, and even if he, you know, he hasn't required surgery, but despite that, you've got to imagine that with that type of horrendous injury, um, he's going to have to be very strictly monitored and possibly on medication to kill the headaches. Because, I mean, the, the, the headaches must be, the migraines he's going to get are going to be chronic. I mean, this this is it with boxing. I mean, again, I know I'm stating the obvious, but sometimes the obvious needs stated. You know, you these guys, they get in the ring, and uh, to me, they're supermen. They, they're just all women. You know, they're just incredible people who can do these things that, that I certainly couldn't and risk such an immense amount for, yes, for personal legacy and success you know financial reward whatever but but to to do this for a living to you've got to know when to get out haven't you and even if by some you know very poor error of judgment lopez was allowed to to fight on was was to be offered a a uh, a license in some of these more obscure states in the US, for example, or maybe maybe back in Mexico where he's from, you would think he would say, no, nah, no, nah, enough's enough. Uh, but of course, fighters are not made like you and I are. Um, and this is... But this is a sad bit of news. Uh, like, again, I hadn't realised. I only read it today. Perhaps you already you, were, you already knew about it. But um, no, nah. if, if, if this is the end, then it looks like it is. He's had a very, very good career. Uh, beaten some good men, been a world champion, made a few quid. He must have been well paid for doing the globe trotting that he did. And I wish him absolutely nothing but the very best. Um, but it could have been so much worse, you know. I just, I wish him all the very best for the future. Not you know, not just with his health, but with his retire. If he did, does retire, I hope he does. Um, I hope he's kept hold of his money. I hope he's bought himself a nice house, put some, put a few uh, dollars in the bank, and. And then he can, you know, enjoy his family, enjoy the rest of his life. But again, this is a very, very good example. And we have too many of them, unfortunately, of just how risky this game is. And it, well, it's not a game, is it? It's anything but a game. You don't play boxing, you know. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to say a few words about Luis Alberto Lopez. Um, 
not Angelo Leo's fault, of course. He did what he had to do. It could have been him on the receiving end of it. But yeah, all the very best to uh, to our Mexican warrior, uh, the former IBF uh, featherweight champion. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, thanks very much. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the like button. Do all that good stuff. Support the channel. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.